I'm Peter Corris. This is my workroom in our cottage. It's a quiet space for me, sufficiently far away from where the family eats and uh, watches television or plays music. It's, uh, it's a good workroom. I like to face a wall. I don't like to look out at a view. I never, ever have uh, set up a desk to look out a window. Even when I've lived down by the coast where the Pacific Ocean is outside, I'd turn my back to it. That's just a quirk, I think. Um, I much prefer to face a blank wall when I'm writing and, and just let the imagination run. I know there are people who write longhand and then type it up. I couldn't bear to do that. Um, I, I work straight onto the screen two index fingers and one thumb on the spacebar. And I've written millions of words like that. And I can write in that fashion as fast as I can create it in my head. So it's a good fit. But anyone looking at me would think, this bloke doesn't know what he's doing. But uh, it, it works for me. I was uh, an indifferent athlete, um, average, very, very average. Wanted to be a much better sports person than I was. So the couple of sports writing awards I've had are sort of rather special to me, especially the boxing one. I, got, I wrote a book about history of Australian boxing and got the World Boxing Council Historic Book Award some years ago. And uh, I rather like that. And um, people taking a quick glance at it might think that, uh, you know, I've been a boxer, <laughs> which I wasn't. I used to have four to 5,000 books and I ruthlessly culled them down to this now. It's probably about mm, 300 or something of that order. I'm not sure. I went through and said, will I ever read this book again or does it have any sentimental value? And found that um, about 4,200 of them fell into the no category and, and these are the ones that have survived. Then just a few reference things over on the, the work table. Um, a Gregory's for moving Cliff Hardy around uh, Sydney streets because I don't know them nearly as well as people think I do. This is uh, a little painting. It's just a sort of moment in time from World War I, you know, a, t a touching moment. Beautiful little piece, I think, and I'm very fond of it. Across here, my wife, Jean, a few years ago, but uh, she still retains that look that uh, pleases me every day of my life. There's a whole series of diaries down there going back oh, 25 or more years. I love writing. I mean, I, I think I've said along with sex and drinking wine and, and playing golf and so on, it, it's one of the things I most enjoy doing and I, I, I'm anxious to get to it always.